You can almost feel the snowflakes coming to life as the new ballet San Jose prepares for opening night of the Nutcracker. I'm Ashley with News Up Now, and tonight we're at the Hammer Theater, where over 500 guests will soon arrive to be dazzled by a modern day performance of the Nutcracker that's even set in our hometown of San Jose. Let's find out more about all the magic that goes into creating this iconic show. The Nutcracker was first performed in Russia over 123 years ago. While there are classic and modern renditions of the performance, the new ballet school creates a unique twist by setting the story in Santa Clara Valley. They allow their viewers to be whisked back in time by the costumes designed by the San Jose History Archives and featuring familiar landmarks such as the San Jose Light Tower. Creating this performance is a lot more than a job for many of the dancers and choreographers. There's a lot of preparation that goes into putting on a show like the San Jose Nutcracker. We started rehearsals in September and have been working um, some of the dancers up to five days a week. There's a lot of time in practice, especially on weekends when everyone else is like home taking the day off, you're still practicing in the studio. I would say about 20 hours a week is what I practice. And it requires the dancers to be ready to stretch their sets of skills and gain the opportunity to perform on a regular basis. I performed Quicksilver, which is the main Russian lead last year, and I'm also performing her again this year. Okay, and then I also performed Mousema last year, which is the Mouse Queen, and I'm performing her again as well. So there's just so many shows, I'm casted as different parts, but I'm also Sugar Plum, which is the new role that I'm <laughs> learning this year. I got accepted to SF Ballet when I was 13 years old, so I stayed there for about three years, and then I felt like I needed more performance, but um, so yeah, I really wanted that, so then I came over here. While the new ballet school is proud of their students and their success, they show no sign of slowing down. It wouldn't be the holidays without the Nutcracker. The music is so beautiful and it brings back wonderful memories of dancing with my friends as a child, dancing with my friends as a professional dancer, and now sharing all of that joy with our dancers here at New Ballet. After all the preparation, the audience is just as excited as the cast members come opening night. What did you think about the first half? What was your favorite part? Um, everything was beautiful and it, it's, it's magical. Every year, this is our third year, uh, we're here to watch uh, Big Brother and um, it's always, it's, it's, it's fascinating. The Nutcracker is currently running through December 24th and to find out more about how to get tickets and showtimes, visit the New Ballet website at www.newballet.com. I'm Ashley Ranky Hawk with News Up Now, wishing you a warm and happy holiday season.